Cerebral amyloid angiopathy, CAA, is the buildup of amyloid beta protein in brain blood vessels, causing neurological problems. This video explores CAA's complex causes, diagnosis, treatment, clearance mechanisms, imaging techniques, inflammation, and clinical significance. Cerebral amyloid angiopathy involves the buildup of amyloid beta protein in cerebral blood vessels. Genetic, molecular, and environmental factors contribute to its development. Understanding the molecular mechanisms is crucial for potential treatments. In patients with cerebral amyloid angiopathy-related intracerebral hemorrhage, surgical management involves careful selection and assessment of hemorrhage characteristics. Various techniques, including craniotomy, endoscopic evacuation, and stereotactic aspiration, are employed depending on hemorrhage location and size. Factors such as age, comorbidities, and hemorrhage volume impact surgical outcomes. Knowing these details is important for better patient care. The removal of amyloid beta from blood vessels in cerebral amyloid angiopathy involves multiple pathways, such as enzyme degradation and transport across the blood-brain barrier. Dysfunction in these mechanisms leads to amyloid beta accumulation. Developing interventions to enhance clearance is a therapeutic strategy. In recent years, advanced neuroimaging techniques like PIB-PET scans and perfusion-weighted imaging have greatly improved the diagnosis and monitoring of CAA. These techniques can accurately visualize amyloid beta deposition and assess cerebral blood flow alterations, helping with early detection and treatment evaluation. The interaction between amyloid beta and microglia macrophages plays a critical role in CAA pathogenesis. Microglia, the resident immune cells of the brain, are responsible for the surveillance and phagocytosis of amyloid beta. However, in the setting of CAA, microglial activation can lead to detrimental effects. Activated microglia release inflammatory mediators, exacerbating the neuroinflammatory response and promoting neuronal dysfunction. Understanding the bidirectional relationship between amyloid beta and immune cells is crucial for targeting therapeutic interventions aimed at modulating immune responses in CAA. The blood-brain barrier, BBB, plays a fundamental role in maintaining the homeostasis of the central nervous system. In CAA, amyloid beta deposition disrupts the integrity and function of the BBB, contributing to disease progression. The altered vascular permeability in CAA is induced by amyloid beta-mediated endothelial cell dysfunction, basement membrane alterations, and impaired tight junctions. These changes lead to increased extravasation of inflammatory molecules and neurotoxic substances into the brain parenchyma, perpetuating neuroinflammation and neuronal damage. Understanding the mechanisms underlying BBB dysfunction in CAA provides insights into potential therapeutic targets for restoring BBB integrity and mitigating disease progression. The neurovascular unit, NVU, consisting of neurons, astrocytes, and blood vessels, works together to maintain brain function. Disruptions in their communication can lead to problems in blood flow, oxygen delivery, and cognitive decline in cerebral amyloid angiopathy. Understanding these disruptions helps in developing treatments. Targeting amyloid beta in CAA using immunotherapies, like aducanumab and bapinutzumab, has potential but faces challenges. Other approaches, such as small molecule inhibitors and gene therapies, are being explored to improve treatment options. Knowing the current status is crucial for clinical decisions and future research. Neurovascular coupling refers to the functional relationship between neuronal activity and cerebral blood flow regulation. Impairments in neurovascular coupling have been observed in CAA, contributing to cognitive decline and neurodegeneration. Amyloid beta accumulation disrupts endothelial nitric oxide synthesis, impairing vasodilation responses to neuronal activation. Additionally, the altered neurovascular coupling can lead to energy and oxygen supply demand imbalances in the brain, further exacerbating neuronal dysfunction. Investigating the underlying mechanisms of neurovascular coupling dysfunction in CAA provides insights into potential therapeutic targets for restoring cerebral blood flow regulation and preserving cognitive function. There is a complex relationship between cerebral amyloid angiopathy, CAA, and ischemic stroke. CAA-related vessel wall changes and microvascular dysfunction significantly contribute to the development of cerebral infarcts. Small vessel disease associated with CAA, including the presence of microbleeds and cerebral microinfarcts, serves as a marker for increased stroke risk. Additionally, the disruption of the blood-brain barrier in CAA may facilitate the entry of prothrombotic factors into brain parenchyma, further promoting thrombus formation and ischemic events. Further research is required to elucidate the underlying mechanisms linking CAA and ischemic stroke and to develop targeted preventive strategies. Neuroinflammation plays a significant role in the pathogenesis of cerebral amyloid angiopathy, CAA. 
the chronic deposition of amyloid beta triggers an immune response, leading to the activation of microglia and recruitment of peripheral immune cells. Inflammatory mediators, such as cytokines and chemokines, promote further amyloid beta production and perpetuate neuroinflammation, contributing to neuronal damage. Both innate and adaptive immune responses are implicated in CAA progression. Modulating the inflammatory response represents a potential therapeutic avenue for ameliorating CAA pathology and its associated clinical manifestations. Beta amyloid PET imaging has emerged as a valuable tool for the diagnosis and monitoring of cerebral amyloid angiopathy CAA. These imaging techniques utilize radio tracers specifically targeting amyloid beta to visualize the extent and distribution of amyloid beta deposition in cerebral blood vessels. The utility of beta amyloid PET imaging extends beyond diagnosis and aids in prognostication, assessing disease severity, and monitoring therapeutic responses. However, challenges remain, including accurate quantification, standardization across different PET tracers, and cost considerations. The integration of beta amyloid PET imaging into clinical practice for CAA management requires careful interpretation and further refinement. In conclusion, our current understanding of cerebral amyloid angiopathy CAA, has greatly improved with the advancement of various techniques and research efforts. This will ultimately lead to better patient outcomes and disease prevention.